Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Your boys, Pilot 2K7, a hit has been way too long, but we are back with another Coastal Callouts episode. Today, as you can see, we have the C-130J behind us. We're going to actually be loading it up with some um, supplies and transporting it from Los Santos International from our headquarters here, our air station here. And we're going to take it up to Grapeseed and attempt to... Uh, Drop it off at Graveseed so that the firefighters and all of the crew out there that are fighting a wildfire near Graveseed, they can get some extra supplies in that area. So that's the goal for today. Hopefully it works out. If you guys are brand new to Coastal Callouts, definitely check out the links down below in the video description. It's an up-and-coming callout pack for LSPDFR, which would allow you to play as a member of the United States Coast Guard, among a couple of other different agencies as well. You're able to do cool stuff such as what I'm doing in this episode, Plus, different type of rescues involving helicopters, such as the one you see behind me over there. Uh, boats and a whole bunch of other cool things. So definitely check it out. And shout out to PW Parks fan as well for making this call out here. <laughs> Confused person. That we will not be doing because that is not part of the call out. So anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and get this episode started here. Um, this is still in open beta, so it's not released yet to the public. But if you'd like to get early access to it again, definitely check out the links down below in the video description. So... What we're going to be doing, guys, is loading up some um, supplies onto this C-130 here. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Attention all units. Units requesting air support in Los Santos International Airport. Alrighty, that sounds like it is for us. So we must get a cargo plane to complete this mission. And once us, I think we got to park over there, possibly. So we're probably gonna have to just move the aircraft up a little bit. So this is gonna be an actual call out that is in this call out pack here. This is the first time I'm trying it out. So let's go ahead and get into our C-130J here. Looks like they want us to just taxi it up just a little bit here. There's actually an icon there on the ground there too. I wonder if I gotta spin this thing around. So we're just going to taxi it forward here and see what happens. All right, it says park and exit the plane and await for the cargo truck. So the cargo truck is on the way, guys. Let's make sure we wait for these propellers and walk clearly around them. We do not want to get our head taken off here, guys. All right, so here comes the cargo truck. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can see it on a map. Oh, I can see it there. It's the red truck coming down. So while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and open up the cargo doors in the meantime so we can go ahead and get ready to load up this cargo. And uh, I forgot to get a uh, forklift ahead of time. I guess I'll just use the menu to spawn that in. So here comes our cargo truck. This is very cool. Alright, so it looks like we have two different types of cargo here. Alright, unload the cargo from the trailer and load it into the plane. Fit as much cargo in the plane as you can. If not, if not, everything will fit. You may leave it behind for a future shipment. Use forklift 2 to unload the trailer. Okay. Oh, we got a, Oh, we have a lot of different things, guys. We have a lot of different things here. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and grab our forklift. Now, you do need a special type of forklift for this. We need a forklift 2. Not the default forklift, I think. Is this one over here? Yeah, this is it right here because it has the lights on it. So we're going to go ahead and use this forklift here. How did it? Is it stuck in here? Oh, no, that's good. We're good. Go ahead and take this forklift. So this one is slightly different from the uh, default forklift. Um, you got some lights on it. So we go ahead and turn that light on. You actually see it rotating on the lights behind me. And as you see in the top left, we can actually um, mess around with the collisions and attach things to this as well. So I'm going to show you guys how all of this works here in a second. Let's go ahead and start loading up this plane here. Damn, this one right here looks pretty big. Is this all one big piece? This is one big piece of cargo here. Okay. Let's hope we could do this here. A little forklift that could so what we're gonna do is go ahead and disable the collisions first and then we're gonna go ahead and just try to line this up and 
This is going to be a pretty heavy lift right here. Next, we're going to go ahead and attach and lift up. And we got it. So that is pretty cool right there, guys. That is pretty awesome. So again, huge shout out to the PNW Parks fan for adding all these amazing features into the Coastal Callouts too. So let's go ahead and get ready to load this. This is going to be kind of hard to load. <laughs> but let's go ahead and uh, attempt to load this in right here. I'll put it right here for now. We'll go ahead and detach. That is extremely cool, guys. All right. So, let's go ahead and grab the next piece here. Let's see if we can do this in first person. It's kind of harder to see. All right, here we go. So I can see the forks. I think it's lined up. All right, it's got to attach. Put it down. I'm gonna detach it. Just try to make sure we move all the way underneath it here. And reattach. There we go. Look at this, guys. This is pretty awesome. All right, so let's actually do some rock star editor with this too. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready to move all this stuff around. This is extremely cool. <laughs> All of it is made in China. Made in China. Alright, let's put this right over here. Oops. I didn't mean to put it down so low. Alrighty. So let me know what you guys think about this um, new addition of Coastal Callouts here. I think it's pretty awesome. It's definitely pretty awesome. I'm going to definitely be using this forklift and some of our other series as well. This, these are like border containers here. This is so cool. This is something that we would never have been able to do in GTA guys. Never. Alright, I think I'm going to have to move that other bigger pallet a little bit closer. Right, let's get another one of these water containers. Oops. What if I could set them on top of each other? <laughs> I'm going to try and see what happens. Oh shit, I could. <laughs> these aren't really meant to be stacked though, but maybe we could stack like these other pallets or something like that. Alright, let's get this. This looks like some. Oh, human organs. Oh. What are we transporting here, Parks? Human organs. What? Oh my god. I did not know that was in here. Alright, let's take it. Let's just pull it to the end a little bit. And reattach there. There we go. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and detach all of this. I think that's all we're going to be able to get on for now. Another cool thing, I don't know if I show you guys yet, in the station we now have supplies. I think I did show you guys before, but these supplies are pretty cool as well. So you can actually come up over here anytime and just, you know, take whatever you need. Maybe we should give them one of these as well.
All right, there we go. All right, so this should be all of the supplies that we are going to need for today. So I'll just drop this down here as well. So let's go ahead and start trying to um, load everything up here. So we're going to go into our cargo management menu. We're going to go to load cargo and we're going to go ahead and start loading everything up here, guys. Actually, let's go back a little bit. Let's go here again. I'm going to ignore this just in case some of the pieces are too big. <laughs> All right, so let's start loading all of this stuff. Oops. All right. Ah, that one's too far. All right, I'm going to have to move this one a little bit closer. Let's see how much stuff is in there already. I don't think that big one is going to be able to fit, guys. Uh, maybe it'll fit all the way back there. We'll see. All right, let's see if we can move it a little bit closer. Alrighty, so let's do this one more time, load cargo, and it is all in. Can we fit more stuff in here? Oh, ouch. Jesus! What he said. Alright, it says that's pretty much all we could fit in here. Okay, so that is all we could fit. So let's go ahead and close this all up, guys. All right, perfect. We'll put this back inside. And we're trying to take this stuff to Sandy Shores. I'm going to try to see where we're taking a grape seed, but I don't think we're going to be able to take it a grape seed, honestly, guys, because, um, I don't know, grape seed is kind of a small airport, but the C-130 is made for getting into small runways, so we're going to try grape seed. If not, we'll just uh, take it to, um... Sandy Shores. So let's go ahead and get inside here. Let's go ahead and probably switch to our pilot uniform as well, you know. Oh, it's a helicopter pilot. This should do. I'll wear this one here. Oh, I know this isn't a Coast Guard pilot though. Uh, Alright, we'll just, we'll just use the one that's already in here use this one all right so let's go ahead and get into the aircraft here guys if it lets me that would be nice there we go so we're gonna go ahead and fly to our destination and then go ahead and drop this stuff off here guys all right everything started up okay let's go ahead and get going all right, guys, so we are ready for takeoff here. Let's go ahead and start heading towards the active runway. And I think we're going to depart from uh, runway... I always forget the number of that one, but the one over there. Let's go ahead and taxi back via 12R. I think it's five. Oh no, three. It's runway three, I remember now. So we're going to take off via runway three. And that's going to give us a nice departure right over Los Santos here. So again, we're going to be heading towards uh, Blaine County Grapeseed. We're going to try to drop off all of this equipment nearby to the wildfire so that they could put it to use over there so let's go ahead and get ready for takeoff guys we're gonna go ahead and set takeoff dress here oh and we are moving already okay airspeed is alive got v1 and rotate there we go positive rate of climb let's get that landing gear up 
And we're just gonna rock it right out of Los Santos here. We'll do a direct departure right over the city. Looks pretty nice. Alright, it should be a pretty simple flight here today. Oh, we got traffic. Whoa, crap. Whoa. Okay. Air traffic control. Where are you guys at? <laughs> we almost had a mid-air collision there. That was pretty crazy. All right. So we're going to attempt. We could easily land in Sandy Shores, but that wouldn't be as much fun, right? So we're going to head towards Grapeseed, and I'm seeing a fire already. I should just flare up a little bit. There's a pretty small airfield in Grapeseed, but I think we're going to be able to get the C-130 in. The C-130 is a good short field, uh, short runway aircraft. We can really get into tight runways and take off from tight runways. I'm seeing a fire off to our left as well here, guys. So let's see, where is the runway? The runway, the runway. Okay, I see the runway. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get in there. It's pretty small. <laughs> it looks actually smaller. So the runway is right there below us. I don't know if you guys can see us. So this area has already been evacuated. Um, there's a couple of fire trucks down there as well. They're trying, pretty much trying to hold back the fire and stop it from spreading. But as you can see, it's pretty much all over this mountain here. As we get a little bit closer, you guys will be able to see it a little bit better here. Alright, there we go. So yeah, we got a lot of trees. And this stuff is burning away, guys. So as we do this in the game, obviously we want to keep the people, the first responders and all the people that are affected by all these crazy wildfires in real life, want to definitely uh, keep them in our thoughts and pray prayers. And if you're able to, you know, like donate or support or volunteer, definitely do so because it's a lot of people that are in some crazy uh, conditions going through some crazy conditions right now they need some help and then also keep the first responders in your thoughts and prayers as well because they are going through some craziness with these fires man all right so i'm gonna go ahead and attempt to land here i kind of want to get a closer view again let's see if we get another pass over here all right so i'm trying to see if we get some uh views with the camera here you see a lot of the smoke in the fire here. It's pretty bad. It is pretty bad here. I think there's some fire. Yeah, there's some fire trucks down there as well. As you can see, they have their ladders up and they're uh, trying to hold back the fire as best as they can. There's another ladder there. They have a lot of different departments and a lot of different apparatus out here as you guys can see as well but yeah this whole area over here is pretty much on fire hopefully they're going to be able to hold it back um, this road here may act as like you know a firewall and hopefully it won't be able to jump that road but um, yeah, it's pretty crazy right now. So anyway, let's uh, make our way to the airport. Let's see. This is a runway here. It's really small. Uh, wind is blowing this way, which is actually pretty good. So we're going to try to come in like right over the sea and then just come in and land. Hopefully we'll be able to get in. It's going to be tight, but we're going to try. We're going to try our best here, guys. So let's get ready to do that now. You guys are also noticing not much traffic out here too. This whole area has been evacuated as well. So like I was saying, we could land in Sandy Shores and drop supplies there, but I figured we'll we'll attempt to do a challenge here. Let's try to land in Grave Seed, which is going to be more of a challenging approach and land in here. 
But like I said, we are in the C-130. This plane is perfectly capable of doing the task at hand here. So we're going to circle in right over the Alamo Sea and try to put this thing down. Let's go ahead and drop our flaps and our landing gear. It's a wider angle than I wanted to take here. <laughs> I didn't want to fly this far over. All right. Runway's in sight. I'm going to have to watch. Ah, oh, these trees are like right here too. I didn't realize these trees were going to be here. All right, here we go. I'm about to really get down here. Watching these trees. Oh, this is not going to be good at all. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Missed approach there. That was much harder than I thought it was going to be. I didn't realize those trees was going to be there, guys. Okay. Okay, that makes this a little bit more challenging than I thought here. We may have to redirect to uh, Grapeseed. I mean, to Sandy Shores. There was no way we was getting that down there. I had to literally, like, nosedive it at one point. Alright, guys. So, we're going to try one last time here. As you guys saw, it's pretty hard to get <laughs> into this airport here. Oh, it looks like we're smoking. I think that's the cargo. Um, it's pretty hard to get into this airport here. I'm going to try one more time and see if we can squeeze it in here, but... With these trees, yeah, with these trees here, it's really hard. I'm, like, trying to drift around this tree right here. Oh. Landing gear is down. Oh, up, 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 up. Oh, nope. Missed the brooch. All right, so. <laughs> it's a little bit harder than we thought here to get into Graveseed Airport. I thought it was slightly bigger. Well, I knew it was small, but I think I didn't realize there was so many things on the side of the airport. Like, you can really only land planes with smaller wingspans in there because you're going to clip the side, which really sucks. So, let's just go to where we were supposed to go. We're going to make our approach into Sandy Shores, which is going to be much easier here, as you guys can see. And we're going to go ahead and land, and let's see what they want us to do. Once we get down here. Right, here we go. I wish the engines didn't cut off. She could actually flare some as well, but eh, not bad. Okay. Alright, the cool thing about the C-130, they actually could reverse with their reverse stress. I mean, all planes technically could. But not every plane, like, manufacturer recommends that you do because a lot of time with, like, jet uh, engines, for instance, they'll suck up stuff and then it will pretty much go, it wouldn't be good. <laughs> but the C-130, they're pretty much able to uh, taxi back like that, which is pretty cool. And they gave it open up the rear hatch and let the uh, crew chief or the cargo chief uh, you know, kind of just communicate with them as they are backing up there. All right, so it actually wants us to unload the cargo here. So let's go ahead and open up. And let's go ahead and start unloading all of the cargo. It looks like there's already a truck here that's going to take this to where it's needed. So let's go ahead and unload everything. Just start unloading everything here. Oh, I think we gotta do one at a time. Alright, hold up. Can I move the location? Nope. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go grab that other forklift and then we'll go ahead and start unloading everything. Let's switch back to our. There we go. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start unloading everything. As you can see, we have a truck here that's going to take everything, which is pretty cool. Here goes the forklift. Oh, there's like some cargo already here too. That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and start unloading all of this stuff here, guys. Whoa, I came in like way too fast. Alright, and let's 
also just take out the next thing. Take out the biggest thing, which I think is that. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and start unloading this stuff. Oh, it even tells us where to put it too. Nice. Put this like right there. This is really cool. All right, let's grab that next piece. That next piece, I'm gonna put more towards the front. I know with trailers, you normally don't want to put the most way towards the end if it's not balanced, or else your trailer would kind of be like all over the place. Turn our lights back on. Whoop. This thing is so huge. I don't think this forklift will be able to manage this in real life. This is just a little too big. We'd have to have at least longer forks. Put this right over here. Whoops. Alrighty, and uh, let's go ahead and continue to unload here. Alright, so this call out is pretty nice. This is a pretty cool call out here. Alright, I think we have like maybe two more things to take off. And one more after this. We'll put this at the back so everybody can see what we're all in here. Just trying to make a little bit of space for that last piece of cargo we're going to pick up. Let's go grab that last piece. Wait, no, don't let the truck depart yet. <laughs> 
I gotta put this last piece on in here, guys. You know what? Probably because um, this wasn't actually part of the original cargo. No! No! Wait, you guys need this. This wasn't part of the original cargo, that's why. Wait up, guys. Hold up. Hold up. You forgot this one. I'm about to just like... Oh, oh, I'm spinning out of control. And he's running stop signs. Alright guys, so it looks like that's going to do it for this episode. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the new call out. I wonder where he takes this thing. We have to make a clickbait video. What happens if you follow the truck? Where does it go? Oh, it just goes here. Okay. There you go. Now, now you can leave. Alright, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. It says why to continue with another cargo shipment and to stop doing deliveries. I'll probably just stop it here, guys. Where should we continue? Oh, another cargo truck comes. All right, so yeah, we'll just end it here, guys. That's pretty much it. All right, guys, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of this um, call out here. I thought it was pretty awesome. Let me know if you guys want to see some more coastal call outs action. And also, guys, um, dang, I forgot what else I was going to say. I'm like, also, wait, what else was I going to say? <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, don't forget to keep the people that are fighting these fires and the people that are affected by these fires in real life. Keep them in your thoughts and prayers there. Looks like we got another truck loading, coming up with some more supplies here. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.